exposed. Jimmy, you're going to hear the release. I have our new scan tool we can look at. It's the V-Diag tool, VD70. So I'm going to open it up and we'll have a look. So I'll get around in a different position here where the sun is not in my face and I don't have to squint in my face. So we have the tool in front of me. It's the V-Diag tool, VD70. Okay, so it's all systems diagnostics, 36 plus services, full bi-directional control, does ECU coding, premium hardware, broad vehicle coverage, 24-7 tech support, work on OBD and EOBD, CAN, FD and DIPE, resets and relearns. So on the back of the box here we've got some more information about what it's got, 7 inch touchscreen, Android 10, quad core processor, 2 gig plus 64 memory, 18.25 battery, 18 in one graph and works with an endoscope. 5 volt working temperatures, there's the product dimensions, the weight and all of that. Okay, so we've got it out of the box. You can see it comes in a nice little plastic uh, molded carry case here. Okay, so I've taken it out of the wrappers. We've got some booklets here with it, different plug sockets and connectors in there. Cable for charging and we've got of course the OBD2 cable there. Okay, so here is what the unit itself looks like. I've got it hooked up now to my van here. It's got a nice little sturdy stand here on the back. You can see it's nice and stiff so it doesn't uh, just fall down. So that will hold the unit nice and sturdy. Try and get it where we've got less reflection on the screen there. Let's try the auto scan. I've not used this before so this is going to be my first time just going through and see what it can do. Okay now that we're in you can see we've got different sort of options here. After 2005 you can do a CAN fast scan, full system diagnostics, common special features. Let's just do an automatic scan. See how long that takes. I'll, I'll just hold the camera here in real time so we can see how long it takes. Now these commercial vehicles do take longer than your average car um, and they are a lot more difficult to even get uh, get connectivity on and get some of the special functions working. So we've got 17 out of 33 there done. Where some of these will take longer than others is where it's trying to scan but it can't find a certain component or a certain module. So I've got a Ford Ranger here that it's just arrived and um, we can get this unit plugged in here. Right, we'll do an auto scan on this vehicle. Ford EU 2018 2.2. We'll do an automatic scan. That was a lot quicker than the VW there. So it's done the first section very quickly but then it slows down a bit here as it's going through these. Okay so we're all finished in there, let's have a look at what faults we have here. Continuous memory, retrieve those, knock sensor performance signal, stuck high, bank one, sensor one. And we can go back and let's see, we have live data. Okay, we're going to start the engine up. And you can see there we can get some of these items up on the live data, we can read the temperature of the catalyst. Mm. 
these are all of the different items that we can look at here go back from live data We've got actuation tests glow plug starter motor special functions regeneration of the particle filter reset the air mass meters all of these options here looks like quite a good tool actually isn't it so let's see actually let's go back in there try the special functions see if we can reset the NOx system uh, what have we got here injector turbo powertrain modules mm. I don't think I can see anything about the catalyst or NOx on there but let's go back special functions let's try there So it doesn't look like for this current vehicle I can see anything that re get relates to the reset of the NUX system or the AdBlue system. Okay, so what you can see here is we can do a report and it will give you all of the information of the car, what fault codes it had on it, all of the data there that we looked at, and you can share that by email or print a report and you can share that by email to your customer let's exit there data playback data view what else have we got here we've got obviously updates that you can do I think it's already been fully updated so I've already done that before we made the video you can update your profile and I've already added some information there settings change language display units remote diagnosis so if you've got another person with one of these tools basically you can log in and take control of their screen these are all of the other apps and stuff that you can have on there Google Chrome uh, I'm pretty sure you can download YouTube on it. Let's have a look. Where's the... No, we don't have the Play Store, I don't think. Now, if we slide up the screen like this, we can get different options, which are screenshot. Um, you can do recording of the screen. You can see there that we're recording trying to figure out how you stop that now, is that stopped? that's it okay so it looks like we're pretty much went through all of the things that we can go through, of course we haven't got an endoscope that we can connect up to it you've got a little user manual in there so at the top there you can see it's got USB-C charger and like I said it's got a nice sturdy metal stand so some of these stands that I noticed on some of the tools you get are a bit you know they wobble around and it doesn't really make for a sturdy stand when you put it on but this one you can wedge it down nice and tight so that is that tool I'll put the link in the video description here where you can buy it from and see you on the next video